Children on the back of a tractor make off with a sizable tangled lump of metal. What was all too often the cause of nightmares, now a trophy of war, proudly shown off by Abu Dargham. We want to take these pieces to show them to the other villages, he says. Let them see what happened to these planes. Everyone we speak to here describes the fear they felt any time they heard a jet overhead. For them, this is the greatest victory. The wreckage is being picked through pretty quickly by young and old alike. And residents are telling us that as soon as the strike took place, they began rushing to the scene. One man who we spoke to said that he was picking olives, that he saw the plane being hit and the two pilots ejecting. He says at that point, everyone fanned out looking for them. He and others are telling us that one pilot was found unconscious with a head injury. Video posted to YouTube shows a man in military uniform, seemingly unconscious, being carried away. As a man off camera states, here is the pilot who is shelling the houses of civilians. Another clip is of him in a makeshift field clinic, head bandaged. A voice says, this is the fate of your pilots, O Bashar al-Assad. And this is not an isolated incident. In the same vicinity, close to the city of Dar al Hazeh, in the span of 24 hours, rebels claim they not only brought down this fighter jet, but also two helicopters. Video posted to YouTube shows a trail of smoke and a helicopter bursting into flames. But there's no way for us to confirm when and where this happened. These dramatic developments are a result of a pitched battle fought here at the 46th Regiment base just over a week ago. For nearly two months, Hussein al Shulli tells us, they laid siege to the base after clearing the villages around it of Assad's forces and positioning rebel snipers in the area. They waited for their enemy to weaken. The government would try to airdrop supplies from helicopters. They didn't dare land, he says. And most times they would miss, and we'd take the food. It was inedible. Dozens defected, and even more, we are told, were killed. The final battle to take this massive base lasted 24 hours. Rebel fighters used artillery they captured from another unit on the base, firing it into the building and ending the battle. For this rebel unit, there was a treasure trove of weaponry, and most important of all, anti-aircraft missiles, hundreds of them, though not all functioning, the fighters tell us. Video posted to YouTube right after the assault took place shows stacks of metal boxes packed with Soviet-era anti-aircraft missiles. Another video posted is an explainer of how to arm and launch the missiles and ensure that they are locked in on their target. The regime still has the military advantage thanks to the sheer size of its arsenal. But the balance, it seems, may have ever so slightly shifted. Arwa Damon, CNN, Aleppo province.